good morning my dear students today we will study about the significance of cutting tool geometry all of you aware about the cutting tools which are one of the important elements of the machining process there are two types of cutting tools are available one is single point cutting tool another one multi point cutting tool single point cutting tool which have only one cutting edge generally used in turning process multi point cutting tool which has more than one cutting edge while studying cutting tools one of the important aspect is the cutting tool geometry so we'll study about today the significance of cutting tool geometry which can be studied in a three parts or three steps that is the first one parts of single point cutting tool second one angles of single point cutting tool and then third one three views of single point cutting tool first we'll take a parts of single point cutting tool so various parts are provided on the single point cutting tool are shank flank face nose and cutting edges so this figure shows the cutting tool parts clearly let us study one by one in detail the portion of this tool is top portion of this tool is known as shank so which is provided to hold this tool within the tool holder and base of this shank portion is known as base and whole reduced portion from the shank portion of the front end of the cutting tool is known as cutting part or the neck portion so again it has many different parts let us know these parts in detail the top portion of this cutting part is known as face or the rake face so which is provided to easily flow the chip from the cutting zone during the machining process and the two edges of this face is known as cutting edge and the side cutting edge and the end cutting edge the side cutting edge this is the important part of the cutting tool where which actually removes the cutting uh, removes the material from the cutting tool and end cutting edge which simply helps during the machining process to improve the surface finish of the machined surface and next two parts are known as major flank and the minor flank so these are below portion of the face of the cutting tool if these are provided to avoid the rubbing action between the tool and the work piece and the this corner generally known as nose so it is the intersection of the minor cutting edge and the side cutting edge okay we'll take a second part of this cutting tool geometry that is the various angles which are provided on the single point cutting tool it can be a rake angle relief angle cutting edge angle and nose radius again this rake angle may be the back rake angle side rake angle and relief angle may be the end relief angle side relief angle cutting edge angle may be the end cutting edge angle and side cutting edge angle let us study all these angles in detail this figure shows the all the angles which are provided on the cutting tool in a clear manner so let us take the first 
angle is the rake angle. It may be the side rake angle or it may be the back rake angle which are provided on the top portion of the cutting tool. So this side rake angle, it is the angle between the one end of the rake face and then one end of the shank face is known as the side rake angle and then the back rake angle is the one end of the side cutting edge and side cutting edge and another one normal or central axis of the cutting tool so this back this rake angle may be back rake angle may be three types one is the positive rake angle or it may be the negative rake angle or it may be the zero rake angle so these rake angles are provided for many purposes the first one to reduce the cutting forces during the machining process and the second one to reduce the power consumption and then the third one is easily flowing the chip from the cutting zone so all these are provided to improve the tool life of the cutting tool and then we'll take the relief angles the first the uh, end of the cutting tool and then normal to the base is known as the end relief angle and then the side relief angle it is the one end of the flank and then another end of the below portion of the shank this angle is known as the side relief angle these both are provided to avoid the rubbing action between the tool and the machine surface of the workpiece and the next angle is the end cutting edge angle and the back and the side cutting edge angle this side cutting edge angle is the one end of the flank portion and then the parallel to the shank portion of the line this angle is known as side cutting edge angle and then end cutting edge angle is the one this is the angle between the end cutting edge angle and the line parallel to the shank portion so these are provided to remove the excess material from the workpiece hence so what we understood by this sketch is that all these angles are provided on the cutting tool to effectively remove the excess material from the workpiece and to increase the tool life of the cutting tool and the another one is the nose radius this is the nose radius is made as a radius one not a sharp point so that it will helps in improving the tool life by two ways one is to preventing the accumulation of the heat produced during the machining process and second one to clear the feed marks on the workpiece by the cutting edge and the last sketch will show us about the three views of this single point cutting tool the first one is the top view side view and then the end view so all these seven angles can be again defined on this three views thank you